Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Jerry Goats and today we have to decide which one of these bucks is going to be for sale. And if you want to buy a goat from us, the process is a little bit different this year. So as you know, we are first come first serve, we do not take deposits and we do not have a waiting list. So if you do want to buy a goat from us, then you need to email us at buybluecactusgoats at hotmail.com and make sure you include your name, your address, your phone number, and your preferred email, and then we will email you with further instructions. So if you're seriously interested in buying a blue cactus dairy goat, email us your information, but don't delay, because the drawing is gonna be on Saturday, June 10th. Up first is our oldest buck, Champ. His sire is Little Country Kids CP Thunder Thor, and his dam is Grand Champion <laughs> Dreams Come True B.E. Obi. Next up is Legend. His sire is Blue Cactus OB My Champ, and his dam is Desert Nanny UMA Royal Lace. And last is Vader. So his sire is Sycamore SS SS UC Justify, and his dam is Cactus Flower Valentine. So as you guys know, I'm keeping two bucklings this year, so I have to decide which one of these guys to let go. So Champ here is almost seven years old. His date of birth is July 25th, 2016. He is a dark buckskin and he has moon spots. So as far as his temperament is concerned, he was dam raised, so he's a little bit of a wild child. He doesn't like to be handled at all. He's not aggressive though, but uh, he definitely, he don't want to be touched. And this here's Legend. Um, so his date of birth is March 15th, 2020 so he just turned three years old um, legend is black with some white overlay and he is also moon spotted as far as his temperament is concerned he's just he's just a very silly boy he's very ornery and he's just legend we kind of call him twinkle toes around here because he likes to dance around so Vader's birthday is March 7th of 2020. So he also just turned three. Uh, Vader here is another black goat of ours with some white overlay, but Vader's really neat. He kind of just throws these awesome patterns. Um, he obviously has one and all of his kids seem to get it too. So he's a sweet boy. Uh, he's definitely the sweetest of the three. He behaves really well. He's a quiet guy. He doesn't like to do a lot of fighting. Uh, and he's just, he's just a sweetheart. So a lot of our herd can be traced back to two does, Lacey and Obi. Now Obi is the dam of Champ, and she was just an exceptional doe, uh, super strong milker, gorgeous body. She actually won her last grand champion as a 12 year old. So she held up really, really good. We were able to lease Obi um, and we just wanted a buck out of her and we were fortunate enough. She gave us one buck and that is Champ. So you may or may not know that Champ here is actually a half brother to Grand Champion May and there's also Grand Champion Mayo that comes from those genetics as well. So Legend here is the last kid out of our other foundation doe, Lacey. So Lazy was a gorgeous doe also, and this boy here happens to be a lot of Obi because Champ is his dad, uh, and a lot of Lazy. So he is a combination of all of the genetics we've been working with in the herd for a lot of years. Now Vader here, we actually bought his dam pregnant, um, so all I wanted out of his dam was uh, was a buck, and we got really fortunate, and we got a buck. So he actually comes from really, really good Woodbridge lines. He has Twin Creeks behind him. He's got Sycamore lines behind him, um, and he was new blood to the herd. So anyway, he's also the great-great-grandson of a goat named Belladonna, who is the only Nigerian dwarf to ever win at nationals twice. So here in our herd, we have two Finnish Grand Champions who are May and Mayo. And the theme is we kind of keep anything from that M line because uh, we've had really good success with it. And Champ being a half brother to May, I just feel like we'd be a fool to get rid of those genetics. So he is staying. So because Legend here is a combination of both of our foundation does as well as a half brother to Lucky, he gets to stay. And then Cactus Flower Vader. So the only thing wrong with Cactus Flower Vader is his name starts with Cactus Flower and not Blue Cactus. 
So we brought him to throw in his wonderful genetics into our herd and now we have accomplished that. So this little dude is a combination of all three of the bucks that we have over there. So obviously he is a Vader son um, and he is a Mayo son. Now Mayo is obviously has Obi in her and her sire is Lucky. So that's where the Lacey comes into play in his genetics. So this little guy here is a gorgeous blue-eyed pulled blue cactus combination of some awesome genetics. So my good boy Vader here has served his purpose in our herd um, and incorporated his awesome genetics into our lines. So he is going to be finding a new home and is for sale. So I'm going to end this video here, but make sure you're subscribed because in the next video we're going to be getting rid of some does.